Serviciero, your friend and real estate professional. I am super excited today. We're here at Barbusa. Barbusa, if you don't know, is the hottest spot right now here in Little Italy. I'm here next to me, PJ, one of the co-owners of uh, this amazing restaurant and actually the manager as well. This is gonna be fun. If you guys haven't been here, I strongly recommend to come check it out. Great vibe, amazing food. PJ. How you doing, well, sir? I'm doing fantastic, brother. Cheers. How are first, you? we got to cheers exactly. first. Exactly. I first agree. Let's cheers, cheers to that. Have a cocktail and relax. I don't think there is a, a better interview than if, you know, if, when you start with a drink. This is true. What are you drinking, this by is, the way? This is a Siciliano. It's our take on the uh, huh. old-fashioned. So this is my actually my favorite drink and, uh, you know, nice big cube and some uh, good, okay. good ingredients. I'm so Siciliano, Siciliano. It actually, that, that leads me to another conversation. We don't only have food here, we have amazing drinks as well. Huh? Yeah, of course. So uh, the whole menu, because uh, drinks and food were inspired on our uh, Sicilian heritage, right. where my dad was born, and uh, you know, kind of everything has uh, a little bit of a meaningful kind of piece to our culture. Um, so yeah. Makes sense. You know, the first time I came here was probably a couple of months ago, like right Right after I believe you opened. When did you open it? We opened, uh, it's about to be six months, so we opened in June. Okay, yeah. We opened think, in June 2016. I think it was about July, August, something like that. Yeah. I came here the first time, I was walking by and I saw the menu, it says Sicilian fusion, right? Yeah, modern Sicilian. Modern Sicilian. So I was kind of curious, so I came in, I sat down, and honestly, I was shocked because I'm, you know, I was born and raised in yeah. Italy, so we're always accustomed to traditional Italian food yeah. that sometimes, you know, uh, pretty much always the same. Yeah. So when I came here, what I loved about it, it's like there's a little twist that makes it so unique. Tell me a little bit about the menu, how you guys came up with it. Yeah. So, you know, uh, uh, my dad's been cooking Sicilian food for, you know, his entire life, as well as my grandmother, both great, great, great chefs. And uh, so we wanted to actually take um, Sicilian food uh, that we kind of grew up with and, and, you know, basically our whole lives were around this type of food. You know, it's that stuff that we grew up eating, um, but bringing it to the kind of modern um, American palate. So we have fusion modern Sicilian food. Yeah. Crudo bar, which is like raw fish, yeah. right? Then you have, I saw you have a steak, you have yeah. pizza. So, Barbuza, how'd you come up with a name? So it's a very unique name, you yeah. know? Like so, um, I don't know if you know or not, but you know, the, the last name Buslaki has kind of been a, a, a staple in the restaurant uh, world for yes. the last 30 years in San Diego. So we wanted to kind of play off that name Busalaki was our first restaurant. Busalaki uh, on Fifth Avenue was open yes. for 32 years, and and we just kind of, I think it came along with the whole uh, kind of reinvention, kind of uh, redesigning of our entire group as a brand. So we said, okay, let's look at the Busalaki brand and let's see what we can kind of spin with that. And um, Barbusa is bar. Busalaki. Here you go. Now I'm thinking about it. That's true. Bar. In Italy, Busa. right? In, in Italy, they a lot of places are called bar. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Come on, say, Gamma. Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar Italia. Yeah, bar, bar yeah, whatever. Exactly. Yes, yes, so, it's definitely bar with something else. Exactly. Yeah, I totally agree with you. But instead of having two words, we decided to do it one, so it's bar busa instead okay, okay. of bar busalaki. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. That's cool. Hey, PJ, I am starving number one, and I'm, I'm dying <laughs> to see this kitchen behind there, man. I'm so curious to see how the magic's happened. Cool. Let's you ready? Do it. Let's, Let's do it. So, this is our uh, squid ink fettuccine for our uh, Nero and Riccio, which is oh. our uh, pasta with sea urchin, uh, obviously, the squid ink fettuccine. Uh, jumbo shrimp and wow. a little bit of calabria and chilies. It's fantastic. Sounds amazing. But just like this, we do all of our um, pastas just like this uh, through the machine, hand and kind of uh, really, really authentically handmade. Uh, oh, oh, hand crank. She's getting the things here. She's cutting it. Yep. Boom. Then it's gonna cook. Yep. And out. So she made these sheets uh, earlier. So she make the sheets and uh, unroll it, make the fettuccine, and uh, you know then we serve it. Literally, probably in a couple of minutes, we'll be serving uh, one of these. So it's really kind of hot off the the stove.
Look at that, man. I'm just like, whoa. So this is our 20 ounce uh, ribeye here. Oh, that's the famous ribeye we're yeah, talking about. The famous huh? Sicilian wow. ribeye. So um, he's actually gonna, you know, oil it up, put some oil. So this uh, is where you put the crumbs and everything else? Like that's how it starts? Huh? Yep, exactly. So just put rub it, in. rub it in. And then we'll put the, the breadcrumbs and okay. all that good stuff on top. So Luis is the master of the steak grill. Right, Luis? So the nice thing about this uh, steak, obviously, is that we still have the existing oven from Polpazzo. So it's a, you know, 2,000, I think, 2,000 degree oven. Wow. Uh, so it cooks very fast and it gives that nice, uh, you know, kind of steakhouse uh, steak. That's the yolk. That's awesome, man. I mean, that looks so good. Now we gotta get a, a drink to pair with it. Exactly. So, what's a good pairing for this? Can we go show you at the bar? Let's do it. <laughs> Sounds good. Can't wait. Man, I can't wait to try it. The drink looks amazing with the amarena on top it's of it. It's amazing. Huh? That it's looks amazing. so good. Hey, I gotta try it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold well, well, on. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna ruin your soup first. That's hold right. on, hold Italian on. Style, huh? Italian with style. Italian style. There you go. <laughs> With the bit. There you go. Check it out. First. Oh, Get the egg wait, yolk. Man. Oh, look at that. Here's the whole Perfecto. thing. Perfecto. Like this, right? Buen appetito. Grazie. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Good, huh? Mm. How's the drink? Wow. Strongly recommend this dish. This is the carbonara here at Barbusa. I'm Joe Corbisiero, your host, A Little Slice of Italy. Guys, totally can visit PJ Barbusa restaurant, bar, one of the best places right now here in Little Italy and actually in San Diego. Strongly recommend everything on the menu because I tried it all. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Thank ciao, you. Ciao.